Well, with public attention in Turkey focused on the army's next steps, the country's Armenians are welcoming the chance to move out of the spotlight. U.S. Congress plans to declare the mass killings of Armenians in 1915 genocide have been shelved. And perhaps surprisingly, that news has been warmly received in Istanbul's Armenian quarter. Lawrence Lee reports. Given the vigor with which the Armenian diaspora had been pursuing the genocide bill in the United States, there are some surprising views among the Armenian population of Istanbul. As extraordinary as it might sound, Armenians here told us that they were actually pleased that the bill condemning Turkey's actions at the start of the 20th century had not gone through Congress. Not because they didn't believe a genocide happened, but because they thought it would make life harder for them now. Even if things aren't perfect here, we don't have big problems. I never suffered because I was Armenian. I think the US has made a big mistake. The Armenians there made a big mistake. They live very comfortably there. What good is this bill for anybody? The Armenians in Istanbul don't want it. If this bill was passed, it would disrupt our peace here. You know what happened before, threats and stuff like that. In the end, the Armenian community here is small. There will be threats from all sides. I don't think it will be good for us. Republic Day in Turkey is a time to celebrate the rules of the country as set down by its founder Ataturk and particularly now it seems to wrap yourself up in the Turkish flag. The mood of nationalism brought on by the crisis with the PKK seems to have taken over many people here from diverse political backgrounds. It's worth bearing in mind that the whole reason why the Americans dropped the Armenia Genocide Bill was really to try to appease the Turks, perhaps to stop them from carrying out their plan to invade northern Iraq in the hunt for the PKK. It hasn't worked out like that. Indeed, the very fact of the Armenian bill being quietly dropped in Washington has clearly passed many people by here completely. So consumed are they by the idea of Turkey going to war. Damn the PKK, they say. The feeling seems to be that the rest of the world simply doesn't understand us. Everybody still knows. America playing always uh, like belly dance. Sometimes they are putting this issue, sometimes withdrawing. But all these people know that. They don't trust America. Because the, 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 this, is the, the, this is the big problem. And most and of the people here still yeah, want to invade if Iraq. You ask, yeah, if you ask these people, they don't trust America, they don't trust the, uh, Northern Iraq, and they don't trust the Western people. It doesn't matter that they postpone this bill. I don't think Turkey will step back now. I believe Turkey should carry out this operation in Iraq. It's where the PKK gets its resources from. It was wartime. The Armenians betrayed us. Doesn't the US support the PKK in Iraq? All their weapons come from the US. America can have no say in our operations into Iraq. We have to protect our children. The PKK are killing our children. The crowd quietened down for the memorial service honouring Turkish martyrs of the past and reaffirming the core belief that to serve in the Turkish army is a glorious thing. Any modern evaluation of the Armenian crisis almost a century ago is absolutely lost on the people here. Their only concern, and that of their military, is what is happening in the here and now. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, in Istanbul.